Wolfram Alpha is one of the easily the coolest sites on the internet. And we're gonna look at one really interesting aspect of it today, which is how you can use Wolfram Alpha to analyze stock data, to get a snapshot of a company, any sort of basic information that you need about it. So first we're gonna look at Disney, which is on the New York Stock Exchange. So we type in NYSE colon Dis, which is their ticker symbol. And then we get a whole bunch of information about them. For instance, right up top, we can see what their latest trade is. Right now, 63.97, as of 45 minutes ago. You can see how, they're, how much they're down from the last close, what their previous close was, what they opened at, any of that information that you need about the rudimentary stock data. You can also get a lot of cool information about the company fundamentals. You can get market cap, revenue, employees. You can see how much they're making their employees work for them, revenue per employee. You can also take a look at their balance sheet, annual or quarterly to get a nice little snapshot of what the company's performing at. You can also go down to the income statement, get the quarterly income statement, any kind of data that you need from that. You can take a look at the cash flow statement. And just a really good picture of how the company's doing. So you can also take a look at how the returns are doing, for instance, Disney's up 30% over the year. Over the five year, it's up 118% up. Over the day, it's not doing so well. You can do price history. You can go as far as 30 years with Disney. You can also take a look at analyst ratings. Right now, analysts are rating at a moderate buy. You can also get a breakdown of what those analysts are saying about it. So 12, strong buy, nine, hold, three, moderate buy. Either way, looking good. You can take a look at performance comparisons against competitors like Time Order Cable, CBS, you can also take a look at it, how it's doing against the rest of the S&P 500, against bonds, or against T-bills. So we can see that Disney is doing pretty good. It's not doing anywhere near as well with a realized return as Time Warner Cable or CBS, but it's also a lot more stable. You can see how these stocks are correlated, you can get daily return analysis, and it also has a ton of projections that you can take a look at to see what folks are thinking it's going to look like. You can take a look at the daily returns against the S&P 500. Again, it's a relatively normal stock. It's doing somewhat better, somewhat worse. Uh, you can get information, just basic location, website, things like that, logo. But most importantly, you can also take a look at who the officers of the company are. You can get a detailed breakdown of who's running the show. And you can also see how much skin of the game they have. You can see that Robert A. Iger controls 1.6 million shares, which is a little less than 0.1% of the company, uh, but is worth 75 million. So you can use it for any company. You can look at any kind of bond performance. You can do a ton of cool financial data analysis using Wolfram Alpha.